What's up, guys? Today, I wanted to go over something as it relates to investing in multifamily real estate. You guys know this is Victor Bell, and I'm in the zone going over all things real estate, money, business, investing. Boom, because I love it. <laughs> but today, I wanted to go over something about real estate investing, and it is what the NOI is in multifamily investing in multifamily real estate. So your NOI, NOI, that is a major number right? In multifamily real estate investing. Because if I know the NOI or the net operating income, so we'll write down what that is, net operating income. I'll show you what that is and how to get there. That's the net operating income. This is really important because if you're buying a 16 unit, 32 unit, uh, 100 unit, 300 unit, they all have that. Why? Because Buying multifamily real estate is like buying a business. All businesses are valued based on its actual income, how much money it generates, how much, how much, um, and I'll do it like this, how much money is generating for the NOI and any other business for multifamily is done like this. You have your revenue, revenue, which is your income, that's your income, minus its expenses equals your net operating income. NOI. That's how that's done. So once you find this out, once you find out your NOI, this is basically the formula for your NOI. Money, your how much money it brings in minus its expenses leaves the NOI. Here's why that's important. Well, that's important to me when we're looking at stuff over at Bell Capital. Because once I know the NOI, let's uh, I'll go this way. NOI. Once I know the NOI, now I know the purchase price, which I can get to. I know how much cash flow is there. I know how much cash flow I'm going to raise the, I can raise it up to because I, because I have an idea now what I'm looking at and I know how to exit the deal. Boom. Once I know the NOI, I know exactly how much to pay for it. I know how much cash flow I'm going to make going in. I know how much cash flow I'm going to make later because my goal is once I get a deal for us to make money for our investors first and how much money we're going to, how, how, how we're going to raise the rents on that deal. I'm going to continue to push the cash flow, which means my NOI has to go up too, right? Boom. And last but not least, how much money I can exit the deal for, right? This is important because a lot of people have this thought process that says you make money when you buy in real estate. That is not true. You make money in multifamily real estate by holding the deal when you cash flow. And you make more money by raising the rent so you get more cash flow. And you only really make real money. This is that 2 and 3x that we talk about, 2 to 3x. When you exit the deal, right? You exit the deal. When my NOI goes up on a deal, I have two choices. I can sell. Well, I have three choices, really. I can sell the deal. I can get all, my, all of our money out, double or triple what we had in the deal based on this new NOI. Next, I can refinance, which very few people talk about, but this is important too. You can refinance the deal. Once you refinance the deal, let's say you just refinance it because you got a better rate, but you don't pull any money out, which you can. Your cash flow, even though you've already raised the rent on the property, your cash flow will go up. Why? Because your debt will come down because now you have a new rate. So you're paying less money on the money you borrowed over here. And then last but not least, you can refi and you can take your money out. You can do a cash out refi. Now, when you do the cash out refi, they're going to say, look, what's your new NOI? They're going to take your new NOI on the deal. And they're going to say, you know what, we'll refinance your old loan, pay that out. And that additional money that's left, we will push that money back over to you. Now, when you do that, that is a non-taxable event. You don't pay any taxes on the new money that you've taken out. So you recapitalize the original one based on the NOI and they've given you more money back. That's why this NOI is so important because you know what you can pay for a deal. You can, If they want a certain price for a deal, you can say, hey, the NOI doesn't support that. Not a problem. Everybody gets that because why? You're buying the business. You're buying a revenue. You're buying income generating real estate. That's why multifamily is so interesting. Next, you know how much cash flow you're going to get because you already know how much money you can borrow. Did I leave that off? Yep. Let's do that. I know how much I can borrow. <laughs> the bank itself is going to tell me, hey, Vic, based on the NOI, we'll give you X amount of dollars. Right on a $10 million deal, we will give you $6 million. On a $100 million deal, we will give you $60 million deal, $60 million. Now I know what to go back and tell my investors to go, hey, look, I already raised $60 million of, of the money and we're going to be putting together the other $40 million. Do you want a piece of the deal? Here is the cash flow 
<laughs> based on the debt that we know that we're going to be getting based on the income and what's left over after we pay our debt. Now we get to pay our investors. That's why this part is so important. So when you're thinking through investing in multifamily real estate, the way to go about doing this, as you can tell, I get super excited about this, is when you're thinking, and this is the simplest way, there's more to it than that, but I wanted to keep it simple for today's little video, right? To throw this up, is it is the income, the gross income, rents minus the expenses equals your NOI. And then actually there's some other calculations with the cap rate and things like that to figure out how to come up with the actual purchase price, how to come up with the purchase price based on that NOI, how to come up with how much money, how much debt the, the real estate can support. There's another calculation, underwriting. Then you can figure out, once you know that, how much cash flow this deal will kick off based on how much you got a, 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 the um, down payment, the equity. And then we figure out how much money we're going to raise the rents up to to raise this new uh, cash flow, which raises the NOI. Now we can go back and say, look, now we know that this property based on this new NOI can support this new exit. That's why knowing your NOI and all of these other things, the purchase price, how much money you can borrow, the cash flow, as well as the exit, it affects all this one thing. It's like having a lever. You pull this lever, this thing moves. You pull this other lever, this thing moves. You pull this lever, this thing moves. That's why this is so exciting because investing in multifamily real estate is like buying a business. It's investing in a, in a in an actual revenue generating business, but you can't do that if you don't understand how important your NOI is. That's why when anybody talks to you or you a broker or something like that, we'll ask them, hey, what's the NOI on this thing? And they'll tell us, right? And once we know the NOI, we know all the other stuff. Like it's like a puzzle, man. Once you understand the pieces of the puzzle, then you know where to put those pieces in and all the other pieces that stack up around it so you can really see, right? So that's why I make these trains so I can help you with that. But I wanted to share that with you, how to get to the NOI. Very first thing, boom. It's revenue minus expenses gives you your NOI. You can't do this with a single family house. There's not enough doors. <laughs> you got to have multiple doors on a deal to have enough revenue, right? For this thing to really be... Some people try to do it with a fourplex or an eight unit or something like that. But I'm talking about 16, 32, 30, um, 300, 200 units. Business quality, business level um, real estate, they always base it on the NOI, right? They're not looking at you anymore. They're looking at the income of the, of the real estate. So I hope this helps you. This is the NOI as well as the four things that we look at and how the NOI affects those other four things, which is your purchase price, um, how much money you can borrow, the debt. Uh, the cash flow, as well as the multiple exits in your deal. All right. So like this video, share this video, keep checking us out, man. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm always putting videos on. We put a video up pretty much every day, but I want to make sure to hear from you guys what it, what it is that you like about the videos, or if you have questions, you got comments, or just something that you want me to make trainings on to keep them simple. All right. Um, but I appreciate you guys. Let's get after it.